Hey guys, welcome back. My name is Ash and I'm a photographer and content creator. So before we get started, today's video is brought to you by Godox South Africa. Now if you're looking at getting new lighting, audio and accessories, you could use my discount code to get 5% of your next purchase. So in today's video, I'll be doing a comparison between the Godox V1 and the Godox V1 Pro to see what the major differences are. The V1 Pro is slightly bigger than the V1. This allows for better cooling so that you can get up to 100 continuous full power shots. We now get a new and improved lithium battery that offers up to 500 full power shots per charge. It has built in USB Type-C charging so that you can charge your speed light at home or when on the move. The new battery can still be charged with a VC26 charging dock. The V1 Pro looks identical to the V1 except for a few design changes. One of the new additions is a TTL to manual switch. At the front we have a small redesign to accommodate the new detachable sub flash and the new power pack port. The subflash serves as a full light and can be easily attached to the main flash. It has a separate power control and only fires when your main flash is pointed straight upwards or tilted backwards when bouncing lights. If you need additional power, you can get the PB960 power pack, which offers up to 1800 full power shots and a much faster recycle time. So when paired with your V1 Pro, you can shoot forever and not miss any key moments. We get the same angle adjustments on the V1 Pro as we did on the V1. The round head on the V1 Pro is identical to the V1, so all existing modifiers and diffusers will work exactly the same.
Now if you have existing flash triggers such as your X-Pro and X2T, you can still use them on your V1 Pro. If you want to future-proof your speed lighter trigger combo, then Godox now have a new X3 touchscreen wireless flash trigger that has a built-in battery with Type-C charging. Now having all devices with USB Type-C means that you only need to carry along one charging cable with you, and if you're nowhere near a power source, they can also be charged via a PD power bank. And that brings about a quick end to this video. Hopefully it gives you a better understanding of the differences between the two. And until next time, keep creating and see you soon.